Well, a new play on Broadway takes audiences into the world of two of America's most famous artists and the unlikely bond they forge. Yeah, we find out this morning more about the collaboration on the scene with News 12's John Bathke. Why do you do art? To eat. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's the one thing they let me get away with. The collaboration dramatizes the real life partnership between Andy Warhol and then rising star of the New York art scene, Jean Michel Basquiat, who created a collection of paintings together in the mid 1980s when this play is set. Jack Nicholson was there. He's fat now. That's a shame. <laughs> the acerbic Warhol is played by Paul Bettany, whom you may also know for his role as Vision on the series WandaVision. What was the, the most important thing you had to get about Andy Warhol to play this part? Well, I think the first thing was sort of realizing that not even Andy Warhol was particularly good at playing Andy Warhol. You know, I think that it, it looks like a very uncomfortable thing to play. The career of Warhol, a pop art superstar, famous for his Campbell's soup can painting and silk screens of celebrities, was waning when art dealer Bruno Bischoffberger. And it might be good for you too, Andy. Mm -mm. Played by Eric Jensen, paired Warhol with the edgy and energetic Basquiat, portrayed by Jeremy Pope. How would you describe the life he had? That man lived with ease. He was just floating and kind of being guided by the wind. But I also think there was such a strong intention. Pope says he discovered inspiration for the part in Basquiat's own work. But I can't touch his money. We're not together anymore. Krista Rodriguez as Basquiat's ex-girlfriend completes the Manhattan Theater Club's four-member cast, bringing to the stage the collaboration between an icon and the young artist who would become one. John Bathke, News 12. The collaboration is scheduled to run at the Samuel J. Friedman Theater through January 29th. To see more of John's interviews with the cast and creative team, just go to news12.com.